here. Yo, I feel like being on the grind today. I don't know why. I just feel like watching all these videos. And then it's like, if I got to watch a video, I got to react to it. Because, like, why not? You know what I'm saying? My skin looks so good right now. But anyways, y'all, we finna be doing this. Uh, Welcome. We finna be doing this. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Why you should never visit the dark web. Man. You know what I'm saying? Three, two, one. Yeah. Y'all, the dark web. I ain't never, I heard of it, but I ain't never, like, looked too deep into it. But it says the dark web, so obviously it's not good. And anything that's not good, I try to stay away from it. Because, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all, if you're going to watch the movie, don't care. To the internet, safe, secure, convenient, and accessible. The internet is a hub of creativity and wonder. A place where adults can vote to name Royal Navy vessels, Bodie McBoatface, and grown men can furiously debate pony-based children's television shows. Pretty much all of the world's most popular websites like Facebook, Twitter, and yes, even YouTube, are located on what is known as the Surface Web, aka sites that are accessible through search engines such as Google, Yahoo, or even okay. Bing. The rest is made up by what we call the Deep Web. The Deep Web consists of over 550 billion websites and databases that are not accessible via your traditional search engines. And that number? It's growing by the day. Now, just because they're not accessible to the general public doesn't mean that they're necessarily nefarious in nature. Online services such as web banking, email, and more store your information on the Deep Web so that Regular every time Dick and Harry that Googles your name doesn't accidentally stumble into your checking account. If you're ever asked uh, to yeah, type in a password or clear some kind of security protocol, chances are you're tapping into the deep web. Not so scary now, is it? Well, yeah. hold on for just a second, because we've just started to scratch the surface. We're about to go deeper and deeper. We're going dark. And the dark web is a whole other beast. While the deep web isn't accessible by search engines, the dark web isn't even accessible by your average browser. To get access, you'll have to ditch Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, or whatever you kids are using these days, and download a browser such as the Onion Router, also known as TOR, that can encrypt your... That already sound bad, bro. Why does lighting look like that? That already sound bad. A Onion Router, guys? Okay. Your online activities that allow you to browse the web anonymously, which is something you might want to do when visiting the most dangerous websites in the world. There are some that believe that reports of the dark web are overblown, that the mysterious nature of it causes people to invent and spread urban legends about it. Some, such as Tor founder Roger Dingledine, believe that the dark web actually only consists of a handful of web pages and is so insignificant that it can be discounted. However, research shows that this is not the case. As of 2016, over 55% of the dark web was used for illegal activities such as hacking, arms dealing, and a sale of illicit substances, and that number has likely only gone up since then. It's estimated to generate $500,000 daily for criminals, which is exchanged using cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin in order to keep transactions virtually untraceable. Services mm. offered include the sale of stolen credit cards, fake degrees, passports, hackers for hire, and more. It's been reported that you can even buy somebody's entire identity. You know, fake bank account details, driver's what? license info, and their social security number. You could buy somebody. I can buy you off of her. Somebody, somebody could buy me off of here, bro, for twelve hundred dollars. No. The anonymous and untraceable nature of the dark web can be a double-edged sword for its users, though, as the domain is full of scams, malware, and viruses. And who are you going to complain to if that stolen credit card doesn't work? The police? Please. If that wasn't spooky enough for you, there are even reports of occult activities such as spirit selling by voodoo practitioners. If you want to get really spooky, there are even rumors of a deeper, darker web known as the Mariana Web. You know, like Mariana's Trench, where a whole nother level of illicit occult and supernatural activities go down. Evidence that it actually exists is extremely sparse, but of course, evidence of something like that would be, mm, wouldn't bro. it? So there you have it. The surface web, the deep web, and the dark web in all their glory. While there's nothing illegal about venturing into the dark web, we highly recommend you avoid it, because one wrong click could ruin your life. 
Yeah, what does? Ooh, anyways. <laughs> anyways, y'all, uh, I'm a dang. Y'all do not go in the dark web, bro. That's so dead. Like that's out the picture. If you do that, you not you don't know what can happen. You can't go to the police, but they're gonna arrest you. Let's be realistic. But anyways, y'all, stay safe out there. And stay safe out there. That's all I got to say. Don't search on that stupid. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Oh, we got drip. Hold on. What up it is? What up it is? It is back to Hold on. Wait. Hey, TJ. <laughs>